Hi, my name is Austin Halp. I teach at Ashgrove High School uh, in Missouri, and today I want to show you how I use my maps in my classroom on a pretty regular basis. Uh, first of all, uh, I have you guys here on uh, one of my classrooms. This is for my World Geography class, which is a sophomore class. And for this assignment that I'm going to show you how to do, uh, what I did is I had my kids do some research on North America. And ultimately, I wanted them to learn about it, but then I also wanted them to see kind of how all these different things that they're going to be researching fall within the United States, uh, Canada, and Greenland. So first thing that I did is I created a Google Doc um, that uh, kind of explained some of the expectations, what I want the kids to look at, um, information I wanted them to look up, uh, and kind of where to put the information. So um, on here they would see that they're supposed to look up multiple different things. Then uh, what I did was uh, I created an assignment on Classroom. And uh, I had it broken up into what they will do, um, Google slide that they were supposed to put the information on. But what today's presentation is mainly about is my maps. So uh, what I did next is I went to mymaps.google.com, which brings you to this specific uh, website here, which uh, one of the things that I love about this is this will be shared with students um, and it can be accessed through their Google Drive. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So first thing we did is, or I did, is I created a new map, and then um, I titled it uh, whatever the assignment was, which for this case was North American Research. And then I hit Share, and I wanted to change who had access to this. And this is going to allow your students to be able to work on it collaboratively um, and without you having to share it with every single student. So. Uh, click on can edit is what you'll change it to and save. Now you're going to try to you're going to steal this URL which is highlighted right there with a control C. Then go back to classroom uh, where you'll create your assignment. And just for this specific situation, I'll show you guys um, what it'll look like. Uh, I hit edit for this one, and where you see this little link option, click it and insert um, that URL. And what that does is now any of the students who obviously have access to this and are on the school domain um, of the Google Apps for Education, they can now begin adding any and all information that they want um, on a collaborative uh, map, which is pretty exciting. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys kind of what it looked like um, after some of the kids did research. Obviously, this is uh, students, uh, so I mean, uh, there's some things that are not exactly correct yet because I've not been able to work with all of them yet, but this at least gives you a basic perspective. Now, a little tip. On this map, you can only have 10 layers. So if you've ever worked with Photoshop or anything like that, and you can have multiple different layers. Um, it's no different in that regard. The layer that's at the top uh, is the one that will be the most dominant. So what I did for this specific situation is I created six layers for my students to work with. Every bit of information you see on here, these different polygons, which are these things like this, uh, or these little uh, drop-down markers, all this was done by students. Uh, and I had students research various different things and then provide different things like, for example, um, when the crime rates changed, they could put uh, pictures in there. Um, they can put statistics, uh, anything that they want to, to be able to display the information. Um, and then um, there's that. So um, this is the basics of how to kind of get your kids working on my maps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And um, I thank you guys for your time today.